In the real world today, we use money to buy real goods. In the digital world, money is cryptocurrency and NFTs are the goods we buy. What does it sound like to sell a tweet for $2.9 million? I did a search on Google for the top 10 most expensive NFTs ever sold and I discovered some NFTs were sold for some outrageous amount. You can imagine this crypto punk sold for $7.6 million. That's not all. The second highest NFT ever sold is this artwork you have seen here, the first 5,000 days, sold for $69.3 million. And the most expensive NFT is this artwork you have seen here, sold for $91.8 million dollars you are probably asking yourself how someone will bring out such a large amount of money just to buy a digital artwork well it's normal as long as humans have met their basic needs sufficiently they begin to create value for things that has no inherent value so is this whole nft stuff a hype speculation or just a bubble waiting to get busted let's start this way why was nft created in the past Artists have felt inadequately compensated for their creative artwork. So with the rise of the blockchain technology, a solution was introduced in the form of NFTs. Enough of all the gibberish. What then is NFTs? NFTs literally means non-fungible tokens. That sounds like a lot of grammar. Okay, for simplicity, let's replace each word with another. Let's substitute non with not. Let's replace fungible with replaceable. And let's replace token with artwork on the blockchain so what does nft means it means not replaceable artwork on the blockchain does it make sense oh no we still have a lot of grammar in there oh sorry let me break it down for that artwork here includes animation sounds digital art 3d drawing video game etc nft represents a unique piece of art and it lives on the blockchain Let's give an example. As an artist, you took a pen to do a drawing or to create an artwork. Now, no matter how that artwork looked like another one that someone else has drawn or you yourself has drawn, it cannot be the same. They can only look alike, but it cannot be the same. That drawing is unique, it's one of its kind. That makes it non-fungible because it cannot be replaced with another drawing. So that drawing in the real world is a non-fungible artwork. Now it becomes a non-fungible token when that artwork is minted on the blockchain. NFT is a digital certificate stored on the blockchain. In this case, see blockchain as a technology or a public ledger that records all transactions associated with that piece of art you want to create. On the blockchain, you can see the owner of the artwork, who created it, the price history, when it was created, the last purchase date, and any other information needed to be known. Today, we have several blockchains on which NFTs can be minted. We have the Ethereum blockchain which has today brought about the popularity of NFT but is associated with high gas fee. We have the Solana blockchain, which is still a pretty new ecosystem for NFTs, but gaining massive volume. We have also the Avalanche, Polygon, Cardano blockchain, and many others. Ordinarily, artwork shouldn't be sold in pieces. But today, because of the high cost of acquiring some NFTs, especially in the metaverse, such as a yacht, a stadium, and some others, we have what is called fractional NFTs, which I will talk about in another video because some people believe this is the next big thing happening in the NFT space. Alright, so I'll be starting an NFT series on this channel. So if you would like to know more about NFTs, how and where you can buy and sell your NFTs, how to make money with NFTs online, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new on this channel and turn on the notification bell for instant updates whenever I release a new video thank you very much for watching i remain the bishop of crypto cathedral do have a wonderful day bye